Hey you all, welcome back, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. In today's video, this is part two of the Walmart walkthrough. In our first side of the walkthrough, we only visited the medicine side, um, the body wash, the hair supplies, and we got a chance to see how that was looking. If you missed that video, I'm going to link it right above right now. Um, so in this video, we'll be going more so through the grocery section of walmart and see how it's looking um thank you all for tuning in if you're new here please go ahead and consider subscribing and if you've been here before what is up family thank you thank you thank you for coming back remember guys like comment and subscribe if your heart moves you to do it it truly helps us out let's get started with the video all right, so firstly, last week, reviewed the produce section. I don't think they have stocked since then. And I was telling you guys how those sweet potatoes were humongous. It seems like they're all gone now, and they did put a few more out, but not a lot. Also, when it comes down to the apples, guys, they wanted two twelve per pound for some apples, and then $1.98 for, per pound, and then two eighty eight and two twelve per pound for apples guys to get produce just about anywhere is about ridiculous now when it comes down to the barbecue sauce you guys if you all are big on thanksgiving i cook a little fountain on thanksgiving you guys um but if you if you all are big on thanksgiving get your items now trust me you will not regret it you're gonna come back and be like oh wow thank you thank you thank you for letting me know this in advance. I'm going to tell you why. Because some barbecue sauces and a lot of sauces actually contain ketchup. And there is a tomato shortage. We spoke about this before. With there being a tomato shortage, a lot of sauces would be unavailable. Such as barbecue sauce. You can make your own, but guess what you need? You need ketchup. So there would be a short supply of that as well. Um, so definitely guys, if you can fit it into your budget to start getting your Thanksgiving things now, definitely get it now. Let me know if you guys already started Thanksgiving shopping. Um, as you guys can see, like I said, when it comes down to the sauces, it's very picked over. What they do have is front face most items. And it's really not a variety of options to choose from. So definitely guys, get your sauces and start getting your thanks well y'all holiday cooking supplies actually cooking ingredients because people cook for thanksgiving and then after thanksgiving we have um christmas and then after christmas we have new year's so definitely and it's it's gonna be here with the way time is flying we gonna be seeing them holidays and i'm gonna be telling you guys happy thanksgiving enjoy the time with your family and all that stuff and above. So definitely, guys, get it now. Now, when it comes down to the raviolis, this is something great to have in a stockpile. Um, I've also mentioned this before, but one thing I can say, what I've noticed about Walmart, um, they actually have the very large size can today. Um, yeah, so this can is 400 ounces, so it can... Feed about maybe two people out of this one, depending on the person's appetite. But this can definitely feed about two people. So it's a 400 ounce can, two pounds in total. Definitely can feed about two people. And it's coming in at $2.08. Not bad at all. Um, Like I said, I never saw Walmart carry these larger size of um raviolis before. But I've had them. I have seen them in other stores, just never Walmart. Let me know if I'm the only one or have you guys seen like the family size Chef Bourdais raviolis in your Walmart. Because I have me. This is the first for me. And as you guys can see, if you look right there next to the singles of the macaroni cups, those are the larger cans of the Chef Bourdais. And over to your right next to the green Nor products, those are the regular size cans of raviolis um and they are still 98 cent that price is not changing on the raviolis so far that is one thing that definitely shocked me is how this did not jump up to a dollar yet but remember guys when stockpiling and i'm showing you these videos i'm based in new jersey guys so prices do vary 
by state. Some prices may be higher, some prices may be lower. But I'm telling you guys, the prices from New Jersey, this way you guys can always compare and see, hey, well, they spend much more here and or they spend much less here on this product, you know. So definitely take the time to compare if you if that interests you. Now, when it comes down to stockpiling rice, you would make off better by stockpiling the smaller bags. The one pound bags coming in at 72 cents. Um, if your preference, I'm going to say preference because you still have a choice, but putting away the regular long grain white rice in your stockpile is not bad. It's a dollar 38 for the two pound bag. So if you decide to get the two pound bag rather than two of the 72 cents bag, you'll actually be saving some change by spending a dollar 38 on getting a few of the two pound bags but definitely your choice if you're a person that don't want to stock up on um, a lot of white rice is definitely your choice prep according to what your family eats and your needs but rice is something that you should definitely have in your stockpile no doubt there's no questions about it now when it comes to parboiled rice it's a dollar 73 for the two pound bag and for the five pound bag it is 394 and when it comes down to the basmati rice, it is $6.88 for the five pound bag. Let me know in the comments down below, what is your favorite rice and what rices are you guys stockpiling? Me, I prefer jasmine rice, though we do have a lot of white rice as well in the stockpile. Long as you are stockpiling rice, that is great. But remember, when stockpiling rice, you cannot store brown rice long term. At least this is what a lot of people is saying because of the oils that brown rice contain. So definitely stick to storing white rice or any other rice of your choice, but definitely not brown rice. Um, I did hear that you can put the brown rice in the freezer and it would last longer, but I have not tried it. Let me know if any of you have tried storing brown rice long term. All right, the minute rices are actually a great option to have in your stockpile as well because it do require less time to cook. So I definitely have a few of these as well in my stockpile because you just never know. Um, it uses less time, meaning it will use less gas or less whatever it is that you're using to make your food at the time. All right, so the Nor products, of course, been looking low for a while. Um, yes, now let's look at the meat section. Walmart claimed that it would have the lowest prices on beef upcoming. Um, there's an article on that, so I'll discuss that in another video with you guys if you all are interested. But look at the two different colors on this meat, y'all. Mm -mm. But they do claim they will have the lowest prices. Some people do rely on Walmart to get their meat. Um, maybe Walmart is the closest store in their area. You just never know. But not all Walmart meats look like this. I've seen pictures and videos of other Walmarts and they meat actually look fresh. But this is how our Walmart meat section look. Personally, no, I would not buy it. But when it comes down to the price... Eight sixty eight and then eight eighty eight for some cube steak, you guys. So it is six seventy eight a pound for the one to the left. Oh, six seventy eight a pound for the one to the right as well. So I guess that's not a bad price. Um, they also had some beef chunk riblets coming in at seven dollars and twenty cents. This is what the red meat area look like. Some crazy gaps. Um, for a T-bone steak, I can imagine paying $12.33 is not bad. It's coming in at $11.97 a pound. Um, and I can imagine because I know the price of steak is crazy. I used to make some steak, y'all. I used to make some steak and eggs. And it used to be so good. But I had let that go a long time ago. But that price isn't, it's not bad in all reality. All right. And there is no four pack of the canned chicken do you guys remember when that thing jumped up to ten dollars it blew a lot of people away um <laughs> it, it was ridiculous everybody who was stocking up was definitely talking about it the spam is still disappearing from the shelves as well when it come down to the ramen the ramen have been doing so bad in this particular walmart 
And for the past two Walmart walkthroughs, um, the pasta section been doing okay, but now we are back to seeing the gaps. Um, and by the holidays, there will be nothing left. When it comes down to soup, broth, and things like that, the great value turns out to be much cheaper, so it's not bad to stock up on. Here's the other side of the pasta. The sugar and the flour is also disappearing. Um, I've noticed that they hardly had any marshmallows. They definitely didn't have any of the great value marshmallows. This is a section that's also overlooked um, for the pudding, the jello, and all of that stuff. But they hardly have any marshmallows. Now, when it comes down to the oil, you guys, you see them carts there. Mm -hmm. Y'all see the oil section? The oil did rise in price. But y'all see these carts? They actually had an overstock of oil. Maybe because they did jump their price all the way to $8.17. So people are looking at this oil now like, mm. but I'm, I am seeing people actually going for the Wesson and not the great value oil that much anymore. When it comes down to the snacks still, kids are going back to school. So the snacks may look more picked over than usual. Um, also the water, water have been low off and on is one of those you got to pick and choose soft drinks, pops and things like that. Um, the milk actually jumped in price as well. Um, for the great value gallon, it's $4 and 50 cents. And for the Tuscan, um, gallon, it's $5 and 32 cents. Let me know if you guys seen a price rise on milk as well. I've heard people say, um, it was milk and butter and eggs, surprisingly, because eggs actually dropped around here. So, coffee, 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 coffee. Guys, look at this. The coffee is disappearing fast. So, if you're not stocked up on the coffee, you better definitely be willing to pay the price for what's going to be available um and like i said it's not just walmart with the coffee it's multiple amount of stores that i go into but look at this guys the eggs dropped down to ten dollars and two cents from fourteen dollars and 77 cents but guess what the eggs went down the milk went up the oil went up um a few other items went up so what's the difference right how am I really saving on my grocery bill if one item drop in price and then the next item rise in price? It honestly don't make sense. And they're trying to make it seem inflation is hitting its peak and certain items are becoming stable in price and certain items prices are going to drop when it's not true. Because when one price drop, another price rise. It doesn't really help now, do it at the end of the day? Now, for those of you who are gluten-free, I went to go check out the gluten-free section. I never actually stop at this section because no one in my family is gluten-free. But I had to go check it out because I was curious of the prices. And the prices for gluten-free products are much more expensive. Let me know how you guys are preparing is it much harder or are you already used to it because you buy gluten-free products um, and it's already in your budget? But being that I've never tracked the gluten-free prices, I cannot tell anyone how much have the prices gone up. But if you do shop for gluten-free ingredients and products, let us know in the comments down below how much have the prices changed? Have it changed drastically? Um, because these are products that doesn't contain gluten, but these are special dietary products. So they usually cost much more anyhow. So let us know, have buying gluten-free products affected you lately? Like, is it really, really taking a huge chunk of your money? Next, I'm going to run a quick, quick clip on this tomato shortage um, situation. You guys start getting your pasta sauce and all of that stuff now. And I'm going to tell you, well, this video will explain why. Also, remember the regular size pasta 
jars the great value brand is still under a dollar here in new jersey of course price vary by state but i'm sure it's still the cheapest at your local walmart as well out in the west combining to take a big bite perhaps a spoon out of a very important crop tomatoes so it ain't so uh the impact by the way being felt at dinner tables being felt at restaurants all over the country sam brock joining us now with the details sam and then they came for our tomatoes I mean, what's next, guys? Honestly, is there no sacred cow in all of this? You're talking about tomatoes, obviously a beloved vegetable. There's no short list of things where the tomato is the main ingredient. Let me name a few for you. Ketchup, salsa, soup, spaghetti sauce. All of these things right now are already more expensive because of rising fuel and labor costs. Now you also have California's deepening drought. The man who orders the ingredients here at this pizzeria told me that recently his supplier said he could not find tomatoes two weeks ago. That was a first. In restaurants and supermarkets, large ripe tomatoes are there for the taking, but be warned, these fan favorites won't come cheap as California battles its worst drought in over a thousand years. We had to try to stretch water further than we probably should have. Scary for a state responsible for as much as a quarter of the global supply of processed tomatoes. With wells drying up and water at a premium, farmers are seeing a big dip in production. Bob Dedeling estimates his tomato crops in Northern California are down 10% so far this season. The United States consumer is going to see an increase in price as this, as this crop hits the, you know, the shelf or the, the restaurant or wherever it's going. And that's on top of the current sticker shock driven by inflation. Ketchup prices have already jumped nearly 23%. Salsa is 13% higher than a year ago, tomato paste up 16%, and tomato sauce 17%. Sauce that's essential to any pizza, including the New York style slices served at Pucci's in Miami. Of all the ingredients that you have to buy, what are the most expensive? Cheese and tomatoes. Xavier, or X-Man, is the guy ordering ingredients while trying to keep a slice of cheese under five bucks and a pepperoni slice at 525. Then something happened this month that shocked him. I cannot find no tomato sauce in the market. When I call to place an order, I say, well, I'm going to search in to see from different places, but I don't have any tomato sauce. That situation has been resolved for now but it's a scary thought for pizza lovers. I work nonstop, so pizza is a pretty regular thing that I eat every single uh, week, probably three times a week, right? I think the tomatoes are super ingrained in just not our culture, but all the other cultures that are here. But beloved as they may be, the popular tomato is now ripe for inflation. Sam, any idea how, how much more expensive tomato products could get? Craig, so a lot of this is going to depend upon what happens for the rest of the tomato harvest. But right now, farmers tell us they are seeing production cost increases in the range of 20 to 25 percent. So that's a reasonable expectation on top of the fact, as we've reported already, that these products are outpacing what grocery store inflation is like about 13 percent year over year. So you can just tack it on top of that. It is really right now testing our love affair with things like pista and pasta. I know I think the price is still pretty high for that. A lot of people cannot do without that. We're going to find out in real time yeah. in the coming mm -hmm. months. Right. All right. Craig, Sam Brock, to Forrest Air, Florida. Thank, Thank you, Sam. Right, Mr. Roker. Uh, I think it's time to start our own victory gardens now. Yeah. <laughs> Get things going. All right. So, yes, you all start doing your holiday shopping now. Um, so, yes, the tomato sauce for the 24-ounce jar is only... 88 cents these are glass jars so you guys know what you can reuse those to store foods i actually love using these to store my dehydrated items as well um <clears throat> so yes reuse these jars as well for 88 cents you're getting two for one um yes we're gonna leave this video here i want to thank you all for tuning in make sure you all stay prep stay blessed and stay safe and if you have not considered subscribing yet, please go ahead and press that subscribe button. Press the notification bell so you do know when I upload. Um, most of all, make sure you all remain beautiful queens and kings and continue stocking up. It never ends, guys. Peace.